morning. It's December 11, uh, 2023. Uh, so some of the things that I was working on last week is, is focusing on uh, the tracking system, the PCM tracking system. We have a PCM training uh, this Friday and we're gonna, we're gonna train some foreman this Friday. Um, really trying to get that dialed in. So January 1st, everything is ran through the PCM tracking sheet and all the um, reporting system is, is getting um, accomplished that way. So really looking forward to the dialing that completely in this, this week. So when the guys come in on Friday, um, we spend a good amount of time of training and, and getting it right. Uh, so really excited for that. Uh, last week we had our Christmas party. That was a lot of fun. Um, that was Friday night. Um, so some of the things, another thing I'll be working on this week is, is uh, working in the shop, um, working on our 60-40 split board. I've got an inter interesting method on, on how shops um, function for a sheet metal company. Uh, most companies I work for were always you know, complaining that there's last minute orders and everything's gotta get way ahead. You gotta, you gotta be five days ahead. In, in the reality of that though, if, if anyone's actually been on a job site, things change so much. Um, you got generals telling you you need to be over here or this section gets messed up. The plumber comes in and says, I need this area. So you need to offset around this. Um, so you can't always get orders five days in. Um, so the way we run our shop is I have a 60-40 split board where 60% of the time spent in the morning or, or the beginning shift of a shop uh, is focused on orders that are uh, been ordered for five days, 10 days, 15 days. And it's just, you know, the stuff that needs to get finished uh, ahead of time. The other 40% of their time, their last section of their shift is actually focused on hot, hot orders, orders that come in because the plumber, you know, said, Hey, I got to go here. So your guys got to offset on here. So we're not always hounding our guys about calling in at 11 o'clock and saying they need something by the morning. We just developed our shop to be able to um, be equipped for that. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to getting that a little bit more dialed in. Um, the idea is to get to the point where um, we run another shift. Um, so so we got a lot of, lot of orders that roll through and there's a lot of things that we can handle day of. And I'd, I'd even like to get to the point where I help out other um, uh, mechanical um, shops in the area and, and really and really start selling to some other guys who, who may need some custom fab stuff because you know they don't have a shop and you know we all know the ridiculous shops in town trying to get custom duct orders is, is a is a joke. Um, so really looking forward to uh, spending a little bit of time this week and making sure our sixty forty split boards uh, running effectively like it like it should. Um, some of the other things. Yeah, that, that's that's mainly it. We got a we got a ton of jobs bidding this week, um, so we're really going to be focused a lot on bidding. I'm getting a little bit behind. I got five jobs on my desk that uh, we're supposed to go out on Friday, and I didn't get the opportunity to get them out preparing for that Christmas party and some other things. Um, so yeah, it's kind of where we're we're working on this week. Um, just like I end all my videos, I challenge you. Do you think you could also find what brings you so much happiness? You could set your alarm for 2.15 a.m. every morning. Or uh, Think about that.